What is the largest financial challenge facing local governments today? The biggest financial challenge facing local government today um, would have to come back to um, employee benefits in some fashion, um, particularly for retirees or future retirees. And typically, people are familiar that there are pension plans out there, uh, defined benefit pension plans, which basically says um, you're going to get paid so much of your salary after you retire. Uh, that's something that can be a big obligation. In Michigan, though, there's an even bigger obligation in terms of unfunded liability. And this gets a little complicated for most people, but it's called Other Post-Employment Benefits, OPEB, is the term you'll hear used around. But it's primarily talking about retiree health care benefits because a number of places, number of jurisdictions said they would continue paying for health care after someone retires. And again, both those concepts can, can be good concepts. The question is, have they been funded appropriately and are the resources there to deliver them? Or how do you deal with the situation where there's a gap? What is the current state of pension and health care costs facing retirees and municipalities? In terms of the cost being faced by retirees, municipalities on this vary dramatically. Um, most jurisdictions, most retirees are probably in good shape in Michigan. Um, there are about 330 jurisdictions that have defined benefit pension plans or offer post-retiree medical benefits or both. Um, those are the primary ones that need to be reviewed about this issue. And they themselves would break down into different groups. There are some that are well-funded that we don't need to worry about, that have offered these for years, that should just keep doing what they're doing. Um, then there's probably the largest group would be in this middle ground to say, uh, you're probably not funding particularly the, the post-retiree medical piece um, the best way. And so you've racked up some significant unfunded liabilities, and you could be in trouble in some fashion. So how do we make sure that we get people to understand what needs to be done to keep them out of trouble? And then some smaller number of jurisdictions that could be in serious trouble just because that liability amount is so large that on their own, it's hard to see how they're going to be able to afford paying all those benefits. What has led to the state's growth in unfunded liabilities? There's several issues that contributed to this problem being created. Um, some are just the, the way the practices were defined. We, we've talked about both pension and post-retiree medical benefits in particular. Pensions, they've had requirements for a number of years to sort of say you have to pay in so much. So in many cases, they've been better funded than this retiree medical benefit question, which quite often was called pay-as-you-go, which was never a good practice which meant to say you didn't set aside any money as people were working. You basically waited until you started paying that benefit and you pay it out. That's a, not a good way to do this, but that's been the normal practice throughout all the United States, not just in the public, but for the private sector for many years. And so that's caused the accumulation of much of this. So the bigger problem is with this OPEB or this, these post-retirement medical benefits. Um, beyond that is the issue that look at how fast healthcare costs have been rising. So when people were doing this, they sort of predicted, you know, healthcare costs going up like regular inflation and everything else. Healthcare costs have gone up much higher than normal inflation over a long period of time. And so that's made this unfunded number go up that much higher. And then we've had some jurisdictions, some places, particularly cities that are kind of our older cities that have seen population declines or no longer growing in population. So the number of retirees in relationship to how many people, how many people paying in to help support the people that have retired is getting out of imbalance. There are many more retirees than there are active people working, and that can cause financial problems if they haven't been properly funded over a long period of time. Why was the Responsible Retirement Reform for Local Government Task Force created? Yeah, well, I, I created this task force to address this local pension and benefit issue just because it is a looming crisis. And let's not wait for it to be a full-blown crisis. Let's try to get on top of it. Let's try to say, how can we work through this issue? Um, because if you look at many, many of the jurisdictions that have these programs, hopefully can work their way through these issues with some good guidance, what's best practice, with some support, some help, um, not just financial, but in terms of you know, getting some direction or talking to their citizens about what they need to do or the retirees about how they can all work together to solve these problems. So this is about rallying people to say, we all know there's a problem. Let's try to solve this for as many places as possible and then recognize there could be some group of jurisdictions that are going to need even more help. 
Why is it important that Michigan address this issue now? And what happens if nothing is done? We don't want to continue to burden people with our historic liabilities. We want to get caught up. We want to be paid off. One of the other major challenges are these jurisdictions themselves. This is a growing cost out of their budgets. It's going to take up a larger and larger percentage of what they have available. And that would really crowd out the ability to provide important critical services today to the people living in that area. You know, police, fire protection, general services. Um, we need to continue to deprive those. That's what our citizens deserve. At the same time, we need to understand that there are commitments made to people that retired. So let's, let's strike that balance. Let's work through these hard issues now.